Vince Scully Avenue. Welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that, so inspiring. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, James Paxton. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable Leading in terms of the break for the hitter. Game. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. And here we go on Jackie Robinson Day. First pick, seven ten. Pitch ball misses one. there, and it's a ball and a strike. Ball, strike. Paxton deals. Foul ball there. And he deals. Bounced up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. He is safe. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make an amazing play and almost got it done. But good hustle down the line, and that's an earned infield hit. Here's Lane Thomas, third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. In for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. The 0 1. Just oh, missed. Out. This one in the air. And there's one away. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Joey Gallo stands in now, looks at that one inside. Paxton, 35 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. Step off throw to first. Abrams dives back in safely. Wouldn't chase that time. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Right through there for a strike. Two one. And fires in a fastball with 95. Two two down. Bows it back with two strikes. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. 
Saved at second, and that was not close. Joey Manessis will hit next. Out towards right center field. Hernandez ranging after it. He's got it. And that's the third out. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Starting on the mound in this one, Jake Irvin. I'm going to report on him, Chris. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Mookie Betts. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And here it comes. The shortstop takes the ball. Counts one and oh. And a pitch. That one's in there. And that's strike one. He caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Slap the other way, foul. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel oh. to. Pitch misses. One and two to count. One out, base is empty. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That one misses. And that's ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So the inning is still alive with Will Smith coming to the dish. Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Will Smith stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Here's a high fly ball out to center. And he makes the catch. And that is the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. Scoreless after one. Back here in L.A. New inning getting started. And now up for Washington, Jesse Winker. Paxton back to work. Pitch is in for a strike. 0-1. Ground ball right side. Lux. Sends it to first. One up, one down. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Eddie Rosario. Pitch misses there, and it's one to know. Outside. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially they've earned it. Oh, the umpire out. rolls with him. The pitch. That Aye. one finds the zone. And the count is three and one. Second inning here, no score. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. One gone runner at first. Now it's going to be Riley Adams. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Just missed. Kicks and fires right through there for a strike with the go ahead run at first here at the top of the second right field down the line and that one slices foul with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here. ripped and this one could be extra bases makes the turn at second heads for third headed for the plate relay throw safe puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI he really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul one thing that was great about the approach his head was down all the way through the pitch and that's how you do it One out, runner at second. Now here is Luis Garcia. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. All one's the count. Next pitch is outside. He grounds one to the right side. Lux gets it to first, and that is out number two. Up now for Washington, Trey Lipscomb. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That one finds the corner. Strike one. That's a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. Adams on third with two out. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. One for the Nationals on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Bottom half of inning number two. Max Muncy at the dish. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul.
That nope. misses. The and the count is one and one. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The one two. Muncie hits a high fly ball, right field. That's back there. And that one is gone over the right field wall. That's worth the price of admission. And we're starting over. It's 1-1. One, one. That's a clutch hit and a big moment. You can't ask for a better time to get a swing like that. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That pitch in for a strike. Going on. Well, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Right-hander kicks deals. Hard ground ball, base down. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now at the plate, James Outman. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for this team. And that's down and away. And a good eye there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Forget it! It's their second home run of the inning, and they add a pair. It's 3-1. This crowd is on fire right now. They're going nuts thanks to that home run. This one absolutely screamed out of here, Singy, a laser. Statcast tells us it was 112 miles an hour off the bat. Yeah, it left in a real hurry and didn't go that far because of the launch angle being a little flatter, but clearly it had all the velocity it needed to leave the yard. And first offering is fouled off. Line of the pitch. That oh. one misses. And the count even one and one. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Already three runs across in the frame. Bottom half of inning number two. Next pitch is outside. Struck him out looking. And now it's Gavin Lux. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Still only one out here in the inning. Nope. Just okay. missed. That one lifted to left. Makes the grab for the second out. Now batting. The shortstop. Mookie. Here's Mookie now. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. In the air, right field. Thomas. Long run on his horse. Reaching for it and brings it in. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 3 1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And the batter will be the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. The lefty fires. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And safe at first, the bunt single. He was racing down the line and probably didn't assume he was going to be safe until his foot hit the bag and looked up for the umpire. Nice bunt and great hustle to get himself a knock. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. First time up was a pop out. And that one fouled off. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Tying run at the plate. There's the strike at the knees. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. That one just misses. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And a pitch. That misses the zone. Two and two. It's a good take. Here's the 2 2. Breaks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Now snap throw to first, he's and he's back in safely. With the tying run at the plate, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Oh, Just God, missed. And fouled off. At the belt and fires. Squirts away a little bit. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Abrams, the runner at second with one away.
That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Joey Manessis waiting for a turn at the plate. Move to second, and he's back safely. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Man at second. Left field. Taylor has a beat on it. And there's two away. Up next to Washington. Next for the Nationals is the DH, Joey Manessis. He's over one. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the back. Tell you what, you're going to try to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Next offering is down low. And the count, one and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. two now this one high in the air to left center sizing this one up makes the grab and that'll end the inning so one left for Washington and it remains a 3-1 ball game as we go to the last of the third and at the plate for the Dodgers Miguel Rojas here comes a pitch and a pop-up right side foul territory and a quick out number one Now batting, the first baseman, Freddie. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit, and he's already singled in this game. Inside corner for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Freeman hits it in the air. Brings it in with a nice running grab. That's out number two. Up next to the bottom. The catcher. Two outs, base is empty. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Two outs, space is empty. On the ground, Gallo tosses the first. That's the inning. Dodgers go down quietly, but they still lead it 3 1.
And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jesse Winker. As the lefty gets to work, strike one. Well, these Nats do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get well, up there, awesome. and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And another ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. That clips the zone. And now two and two. This one in the air center field. Out and under it. Makes the grab one away. Now that the center field. Eddie Rosario digging in for the Nationals. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That one catches the zone. Oh, a two down. And they'll do it again. The Dodgers trying to protect a two-run lead. Top half of inning number four. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Foul ball still 0-2. Looking, that's a strikeout. So two down now, and here is Riley Adams. He doubled home a run in his first AB. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering right is down low. This to third. And that'll do it. Nationals go quietly. Score holds. It's 3-1. Here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the inning, and now it's Max Muncy. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Misses outside. Two and one. Just misses with that one. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Three, two. Three. Right through there. Got him. One away. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. And now Teoscar Hernandez. That one a little bit high. And that's ball one. one and
Righty delivers. Ball two. Well, Go usually ahead. a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Too soon at strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Line drive, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. And that's all they'll get. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his speed and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Man at first, Chris Taylor down. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty to the plate. Foul ball. Outman leads off first with two down to the inning. Strike two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Bounce to the right. Off balance oh. throw in time. That is the inning. One left for LA. And the score stays three to one. Back here in LA. Here's the second baseman, the second Luis baseman. Garcia. Luis Garcia. Paxton back to work. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Nope. Just missed. You know, these Nationals finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Ripped, but it curls foul. The wind and the pitch. On the ground to short. Slings it across. One away here in the fifth. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Trey Lipscomb digging in for the Nationals. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And that one pulled foul. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. That's inside, inside. One. and it's one and one. That clips the corner. It's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. One down, base is empty. Goes down looking. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch. And probably pulled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Last chance for the Nats in this one. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. Ball one, no strikes.
The Nationals down by a pair. And we're at the top of the fifth. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. They'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3 1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3 1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.